have the same MacBook over here right now with me. This is a A1707, which have no bad light issue. So let me bring you to adventure where I fix from point A to point Z of this set. So let's do this. Let's look over here. This set, as I understand, was repaired before. My colleague told me it's been about two months since the last time this user actually changed their LCD. And right now, the no bad light issue have appeared. This kind of thing is quite normal to happen. Changing of your LCD when you have no bad light is not highly recommended because this kind of problem can sometimes come back again. Like for this case, which is a company name, PR. But this is not a free promotion for them, so we do have to take out the warranty sticker afterwards let's have a look the date written here is uh 2007 is it it or 22 i'm not sure how their warranty works but it's about two months ago that's what my colleague told me and i'm sure of because it's just very, very often when this kind of problem tend to happen since the set is turning on i have to turn it off i wasn't able to tell whether it was on or off until the only way you can see right now is from the escape button. So SMC reset. No more escape. First thing first, I have to remove the battery. I don't want to cause any further damage. Can't tell from here, but let's have a look. So somebody else actually fix it. I guess they follow our method. The same one we do for video. So as you can see, there's a, there's a duct tape over here now. It's similar from the way that we, we fix our LCD LCD where we focus on these two these two points so at first I thought it was uh, more of a more of a LCD replacement but eventually it's a LCD repair uh, now we're gonna fix it back again uh, I think they did a good job I think but because it comes back so since they are competition, so not a good job. This case right now is actually much harder. The reason because, uh, I don't look at it, whether you can see from a microscope, it's just the way they do it is uh, at the back from here. I mean, we tend to do it from this part here right now. They're doing it from this area. I'm not too used on, on doing an at that location but uh yeah i guess I can give it a try and have a look Let's have a look. I think, I think it's, I think it's okay. But still, we, we got a test. Can we lift out? Let it get stop. Oh, there you go. It's back. 
we are able to see the the menu so I'm gonna close everything up and how we usually when we fix this set how we we test it just to make sure that the poem doesn't come back as easy as like uh, like days or weeks just that for this case I can't really do the testing now because uh, I need to cover up the part where I just soldered on. Uh, if I don't do that, the cable is gonna is gonna burn. So that's the last thing I want to happen, because it's gonna, the shorter the cable is, the harder the harder it's much harder itself to to fix the cable because now you have lesser room on how you want to fix it. So for this case, because if it was fixed before, and since the the kind of like uh, wiring is ready uh, is ready shown for rather than something that was not touched before. What I did was uh, using a much thinner cable. For us, we tend to use a thinner, much thinner cable, which is uh, which tend to be used on iPhones. They are much harder. I would say, for my own opinion, it's much more reliable. I'm gonna close up everything now. The set is working. Uh, this is part of it. Uh, once we have done with the testing, everything, which is uh, we will just cover up the whole set. I guess this set is done. Uh, it took us about a while to fix it, but uh, for my timer right now, it's only about 19 minutes. Maybe we're gonna cut short the videos to make everything much faster. I'm happy we fix it. If you have this kind of same issue, bring it over to us because uh, for us, we are trying to make sure everything is more transparent about how we fix it. We do want to educate people itself so they have a better understanding about their own machine to show to them like something like this, uh, you can actually know what is being done to it because uh, the new machines, especially, they are getting more and more complex everything about it itself is, it just gets much harder to fix than it was before where I would say the older model is much easier than the new model give it a try if you are interested to open up your own machine uh, to, to play around with it but anyway thank you so much for watching uh, please press like if you love our video and subscribe so we can actually do more of this kind of content thank you so much and see you